Hi, Dalton here for Bizarre Home Decorating. Today, I'm gonna unbox a PowerView Gen 3 Silhouette. Start by taking all the bubble wrap and foam out of here. That will allow us to remove the shade, the batteries, and here is the remote. Start by opening the remote up here. Peel all the stickers off, pull the tabs so that it's getting power. And I will open the battery up. That's the battery holder. This right here will be the lithium ion rechargeable battery itself. Voila clicks into the holder just like that. Then we can open up the shade. There's our shade. And then on this side, we will have the installation brackets, back cover clips, and that's it. So, to save some time, I already have some pre-installed brackets up there, as well as hard wiring for the power on the shade. So I'm going to remove the top of this cover here. Then I'm going to make sure the levers are clicked over to the left and insert the shade into the brackets. Now that the brackets are clicked in, I can plug it into its power source here. That blue light will let us know that everything's powered on. Now I will switch over to my phone. Now from my phone, I will start a new home. I will name it uh, Video Home. Hit the next button. I will select the primary power source for these shades. This is hardwired. I will hit next. We got to give this a room, call it the family room. That will then pull up any available shades that are there. If I hit the jog button, we're going to see the shade move ever so slightly, letting us know that this is the shade listed there. I'm going to click here and I'm just going to name this right. Hit done. Hit next. It's adding the shade currently to the PowerView network. Hit next again. Now it's asking if we have a remote to set up. Yes, and I'd like to set up the remote. We're going to select the number one on the remote and set that as the right shade. Hit next. And now we're going to pair the two. So now we're going to hold the stop button on the remote until the light starts spinning in a spiral on it and that puts it into programming mode, which will sync the two up. We can hit done, and now our remote will operate our shade.
So now I'm running the shade through all of its available motions so that I can check the limits on it, make sure it goes where we'd like it to. I can now hit next in the app. I'll hit done because I have no more rooms to set up. I will not be setting up a gateway with this shade and our setup is now complete. Now that our setup is complete, I can skip the step of transferring the home ownership. I can go to the rooms. I can click on family room. I can click on the right shade in the family room and that will allow me to now control it fully from within the app. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Bizarre Home Decorating.